When you think of the Pittsburgh Pirates, you think of bad trades and cheap owners. So today, I'm going to be rebuilding the Pittsburgh Pirates. Only I'm going to actually spend money and not make bad trades. Let's begin. Starting off the 2022 offseason by bringing back Gregory Polanco, who had a pretty good season last year with 21 home runs. I also got to hire a new pitching coach. So there we go. All right, now it's time for the fun part. It's time to sign some free agents. So looking at who's available, and it looks like Francisco Lindor will available, and he had a really good season last year. Also, Trevor Story was good. Noah Syndergaard and Clayton Kershaw were really good. Oh, how about Carlos Correa? Yeah, I'll give him an offer. I'll give him seven years, $208 million. In real life, he rejected $275 million over 10 years by the Tigers, but we'll see what happens here. I'm going to quickly give Clayton Kershaw an offer. Uh, I think I'm going to keep our current catcher, and then we'll trade for someone later on, maybe. Okay, so we could use another outfielder. Let's take a look at Kyle Schwarber. Okay, so not a bad season. Ketel Marte was pretty good, and Garcia wasn't great. I'll give Kyle Schwarber an offer. One year, $4.9 million. Pretty cheap, low risk. Let's do it. Zach Davies is kind of interesting. He's only 29 years old, 192 innings pitched last year, 3.46 year array. I'll do that. I'll give him three years, $8 million a season. Oh, sweet. We just signed Carlos Correa. That's a big move for the Pirates. And Brad Hand went to the A's. Noah Syndergaard went to the Twins. Baez went to the White Sox. Marte went to the Nationals. And Scherzer went to the Rays. That would be crazy in real life. Chris Bryant went to the Yankees. Wow. You know what? I'm going to give Alex Colomay an offer because he was actually good in 2021. So one year, four million. That's pretty cheap. I'll do that. So I was just thinking, what if I brought back Andrew McCutcheon? Actually, I might wait till next offseason when he's a free agent. Not bad stats, but he is going to decline. So we need some bullpen help. And I think I'm going to give Chris Martin an offer. All right. So first trade with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we're going to be trading Jacob Stallings to Toronto for Alejandro Kirk. Okay, so since we only have one major league ready catcher, I'm also going to be trading for Pedro Severino, and I'll give them Anthony Elford and some other players, and let's get this deal done. There we go. Okay, so here's our 2022 opening day lineup. We may have to switch some players around, but uh, we're looking a lot better with Carlos Correa, Kyle Schwarber, Brian Hayes is going to have a big season. Our pitching rotation definitely isn't the best, but Zach Davies and Mitch Keller are the number one and two spot. In the bullpen, we got Richard Rodriguez and Alex Colomay. So opening day is ready to go, and I'm going to sim to the All-Star break. So we're at the All-Star break right now, and we're not doing great. We're 37-54, and 54, so not good at all. So far, it looks like Brian Hayes and Correa are doing good. And Schwarber's doing good. Reynolds is a little disappointing. For pitching, Zach Davies is doing well. And Mitch Keller's also doing pretty good. Um, everyone else is okay. And the bullpen is up and down. All right, I'm going to do another trade. Let's trade Frazier to the Blue Jays for Kevin Biggio, who's having a pretty good season. And the Blue Jays probably don't even need Biggio anyways because it looks like they have Jose Altuve. All right, so they accepted the trade. So let's sim to the end of the season. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. 71 wins, not great, but also not absolutely garbage. We have a lot of room to improve, so let's improve in the offseason. Okay, so let's see how everyone did. So Cabrian Hayes took a bit of a step back in the second half offensively. Carlos Correa did good and pretty much how I expected him to do. Kyle Schwarber was pretty good, 27 home runs. I also did end up extending him for two more years, and he's getting paid under $6 million a season, so that's pretty cheap. Colin Moran was good. Brian Reynolds was a little disappointing, to be honest, and uh, Biggio wasn't that bad. Biggio was solid, I guess. Oh, wow. Zach Davies was really good with over 200 innings pitched. Keller fell off a bit the second half, and uh, I don't know what happened to the rest of the rotation. They all just disappeared, I guess. Um, Amir, Amir Garrett, I... I don't think I showed you guys, but I did trade Alex Colme for him, and he had a pretty nice season. I also did extend him for pretty cheap, too. But yeah, we did finish last in the division, but that just means there's a lot of room to improve. Okay, so we did get one award, and Cabrian Hayes did win a gold glove, so good for him. I also extended him. I know I'm extending a lot of people. I extended him for five years for 2.6 a season, which is really cheap, and I think that's a very good deal. Okay, so let's move on to free agency, and we're going to need some help for pitching. So looking at who's available, and it looks like there's a lot of guys who just came off big seasons, which will make them a little bit pricey, like uh, Aaron Nola, Luis Severino, Jose Brios, Mike Clevenger. Ooh, what if I brought back Jameson Tyon or Joe Musgrove? I'll offer Joe Musgrove just under $16 million a season. Max Scherzer, it looks like he's decreasing a bit, but he did have a good season. Oh, what about Zach Eflin? I like the idea of that. Oh, very, very good season for him last year. 
192.2 innings pitch and a 2.66 ERA. Two years, just under 40 million. I'll offer him that. Andrew McCutcheon, though, uh, he, he is declining a bit, so I don't think I'll give Andrew McCutcheon an offer. Let's look at Jose Quintana. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll give him an offer. One year, 8.2 million. The Pirates actually have him in real life, so let's make that happen. Okay, so the offseason's over. Here's our 2023 opening day lineup, pretty similar to the end of last year. The pitching rotation, though, that has improved a lot with Zach Eflin, Mitch Keller, Zach Davies, Jose Quintana, and the bullpen isn't anything crazy. Luis Castillo versus Zach Eflin, 2023 opening day. We'll start next episode. So in the meantime, subscribe.